say? I said it's loose. The tank tread is loose. Hello, Everett. Hi. My special guest star today. How's it going? Not bad. Fifth scale boss. I see you're always representing the O'Neill Brothers Racing in the house. <laughs> you know how I do. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, my brother. We are Woo! we are working on the tank today. Uh, yeah, you know what's really interesting about this tank tread, bro, is that any rear driven sprocket uh, uh, tank like this has a, a droopy uh, uh, right, tank yeah. tread in Germany. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is the way they actually did it. And you can see if you put, like, there, this uh, uh, actually clears out mud as it goes. It's got a scraper right in here. Oh. And then you can see all these, like, it's like a dragon back, right? How yeah, it yeah. fits into those tires. Yeah. Or road wheels, I should say. They're not tires. I can't believe how buttery it is. What do you mean? It's just, it's just smooth. It's, you can feel it so heavy. Yeah. But I can move it. With one finger? Like it's just incredible. Yeah, that was all, we were also shocked when uh, in the last uh, episode that we had done of just one finger. It kind of rolls by itself. Like yeah. I can get it to keep going, basically. Yeah. So I want to see a motor on it. I know. Well, there's gonna <laughs> thankfully there's gonna be two. There's gonna yeah. be one on either side. Yeah. As you know, you saw them when when we did the unboxing. But man, that's gotta weigh. It's already how heavy you figure. Sixty pounds. Sixty already. Yeah, I gotta go with at least <laughs> sixty there. And we're gonna be working on the upper hull today. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah, do we you got? Some parts going down already here. All Get ready. All Set up the table. Laid out. The top half of the what do you call it? The cab. The I don't even know what you'd call well, it. Well, this is call this it? is the the upper hull. The this, upper hull. This is okay. the lower the hull lower down hull. here. Okay. So we're gonna go around here. Everybody still is wondering about the paint on this, and a lot of folks don't understand that most of this is actually primer. Primer, but I love the color. Yeah, well, exactly, hey. I love it. Yeah, and the fingerprints, the smudges, everything is going to be au naturel. It's kind of <laughs> <laughs> that, that is camouflage I, all by I don't itself. Know. I, I told you before when you first were looking at the colors, I just love it. Yeah. Love it. Hey. Love it. You, I think the history, if I understand this properly, um, the Germans in World War II actually had lots of different um, camouflage styles, but uh, the, the soldiers that were in this tank, they actually did a lot of camouflaging themselves, whatever they had oh, on hand. Yes. Um, so really, any color that we painted. it for themselves. It, that's why. The terrain I, they were on. This is why I wanted it for the 10 year, right? This is, we, all, we live white. We all, exactly, <laughs> for the snow. Right now. I considered Today. making it a winter uh, vehicle. Yeah. Hey, yeah, well, for the blue and the white and the gray, I thought it would have looked pretty good. But I know that there's some traditionalists out there, uh, and we are going to be doing some more painting and weathering and all that stuff. But that's like months away, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. you know. But anyway, I got the top, um, the, the vent covers all done. Everett, this was something I did before you got here um, pretty not a tedious thing but all of these uh, internal slats here had to be pushed into the frame uh, uh, sanded down filed down and then um, I actually glued them in there uh, on each one of these and then I had to put them into what the frame uh, just a normal um, CA glue something yeah. that works on metal yeah it was really good and then I just kind of ground the outside on the grinding wheel and uh, everything worked out great yeah, they look so. good uh, I'm thinking if we put this top plate on, we probably need a couple of fasteners on the inside here, hey, uh, and or some brackets, and it'll probably build it up on here, I think. Yeah, we think. It's a good primer. I can do anything on it later, so. I think the green. I don't, I don't think people understand how huge this tank is, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I think green because then we're going to have the black accents, right? Sure. Right? So it's going to, I don't really know how it's going to sit. Yeah, Something. pretty close. I don't know. Oh, I can't see the holes. Something That's right. right there. That's right. Right? Man, crazy. Yeah, I definitely think like this. Were these also M60s? Or were they the 10s? Tw I'm looking for the M310s. Yeah, they're different. They're countersunk M310s. Maybe they're in here. No countersunk. So let me ask you a question. Yes. How long have you been on RC Adventures? Oh man, how long? Yeah. You know, I'd have to actually... Where's there you are, right? That man looked the heck out of that one. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to look, but it's been, well, I don't know, it's what, 2018 right now? Do so we even know? A lifetime, basically. Six, six years, six, over six years now, seven, somewhere yeah. there. Yeah. 
Do you remember the first project that we worked on together? The first project was definitely Project Large 1.0, I would imagine. Yeah. 1.0? Yeah, yeah. I remember. Now, do you remember the second project? Was it Project Large 2.0? <laughs> <laughs> no, I did that one behind the scenes. We didn't film that one. Um, I, the second one, I, I don't know. I don't know either. It could have been the capital that we spoke of earlier. I don't think so, though. That had to be several in by then. So lots of hmm and and ha in, and here we go. We dropped uh, all the pieces together. We've got each of the screws in that we could see on that page. A little bit of a gap right here, but Everett was pointed out as soon as we cinched up this hatch area, this will probably bring it together. Also, I guess I could take it off and give it a slight bend in the other direction, but I want to see how it turns out regardless. What do you think? Do you see anything good? You know, so you asked me a question, is there brackets for the back? And yes. I figured it out. This yes. part overhangs this bracket. Yes. So that is what it, it just sits on the ah, top. Ah, so it's not, I was thinking that it must have had yeah. a bracket well, right here. Well, it's got here. weight to it now. Well, <laughs> the whole thing does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it just sits Look like that. Look at that, bro. That looks pretty awesome. Dude, the whole thing as a whole is starting to come together. So, so funny how such a little piece you added all of a sudden just made it like... I think it's the brilliant painting. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> the black outline. On the one that uh, Armor Tech is building at their place right now for a customer, they did a whole bunch of battle damage. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, they dented in some of these louvers in oh, here. Yeah, so yeah, cool. yeah. To make it like it had a whole bunch of, you know, bullets and cool stuff that blew at it. Wow. Lots of room on the inside. Be able to put a cat in there as a driver. Did that yesterday. <laughs> Did you? <know? laughs> Actually, I think I told saw you that. it was a <laughs> magnet. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Hashtag family friendly. There was actually a cat in the tank. There was a cat. <laughs> Insert picture in the video now. There ain't much to see here, hey? Just putting on the. Not much to see here. Pretty black in there. It is. The camera's catching her in there pretty good, though. Okay, we're done. Man, you're, you're all the way up to your elbow in that tank, bro. <laughs> Just doing my best to get these lined up through the holes. This is the front hatch, which works on a pin system. So I had off camera, I had to use some channel locks to compress the pin uh, through the pre-painted, uh, I pre-painted this before, through the, the hatch, and then trying to line up these screws on the other side. Hatch, this that is, hatch is gorgeous. Yeah, it looks amazing. Yeah, it looks super cool, the detail on that right? one. And it's heavy, like all heavy duty metal. So it's kind of cool actually building it. There we go. And how many, uh, big dirties did we do? How many times did we do a fifth scale event, do you think? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't, I wasn't at all of them, uh, yeah. of course, just scheduling, right? Yeah. Um, but I mean, for me, I don't know, maybe somewhere five to ten range. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. And we've had millions and millions and millions and millions of people watch those videos, and I can't imagine how many of them started fifth scaling because of that. Yeah, I've had lots of messages, special messages over the years from people telling me, you know, you cost me a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? I think that's, what, you know, that's what this um, hobby does. It's cost me. I still love fifth scale. Unfortunately, I never got to do any this year, but I'm hoping next year to do a bunch. Yes. Just life, well, you know. You've, um, got a, you've got a beautiful baby. I had so. a baby and a new house, and it, yeah. just, it just took me away from being able to, um, well, you, you know. Well, you have priorities, man. To do the fifth scaling. I, I did get out to RC a few times with you over the summer, but that's of course right. it wasn't very much. That's right. Uh, okay, hinge me up and down. Ooh. So armor-like. <laughs> need that big, like, metal clunk, clunk. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, not like a huge part that we did today, bro. No, it was pretty it's pretty little. Not, it's not huge. A but couple you, hours of work, though. But you know what? There's, like, inches of snow out there inches, right now. Yeah. And I need to send you home. Yeah, we got to get going before the door. You can see the sun is... <laughs> you've, got, you've got a long way to drive back, and it's yeah, snowing like a bugger, right? Okay, well... Oh. Th 
<laughs> is it time? That's the alarm. That's hey, the alarm. I'm drifting away. It's time to say goodbye. Oh, you should have left it. <laughs> All right, buddy. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you later. Okay. Yeah, I hope you come back. I'm coming back. Especially even for like just even like the startup of the BC. Eh? Oh, yeah. I'll be here for that. Okay, good. Yeah, you got to make sure you let me know. Okay, good. I will, yeah. of course. England. Listen. Thank you. It's the shape of your turret. There is no turret. turret. No turret. Or your super, upper, upper superstructure. It's the, it's upper the, superstructure. There you go. There you go. Sorry. Like the way that comes together, all primed on either side. This is actually quite large in size. It's hard to tell on camera how large it is. It's pretty heavy. Yeah. I have huge hands. Two feet, 24 inches, yeah. By about nine inches, maybe eight inches high. Yeah, about eight, eight inches, inches high, yeah. All right, so superstructure pieces are basically uh, just linked together here. You can see how the pieces are sitting. Nothing has been bolted in. About 40 pounds, we're gonna estimate 10 pounds of plate just under possibly with these end plates. Then the brackets are gonna to go together. I can't believe how quickly this is starting to look like a tank. Yeah. Rookie brought that's something awesome. up that's going to be, you know, that, that's totally pertinent to what we're saying is that we're putting all the big pieces together right now, right? There's a lot of detailing, the electronics, the motion kit, uh, everything still has to go in here, including all the accessories. And I think the top plate here today, this one, once we get this piece together, this one's going to take a lot of time. It will. Yeah, it will. So we got tons ahead of us still. They don't fit together. We have to file them a bit. He's working. He's going. Come on, Joe! Two against one, that's no fair. You gotta get them to fit together. Okay, I'm test fit. I'm just holding them. There's two, you gotta do top and bottom. Oh my god! Top and bottom, right here. This one. Right there, yeah. But not too hard, make sure to get it in there nice. We still wanna make sure it's nice. I'm not ready. Hey, Joe! Joe Mama! <laughs> Joe Mama! Brute strength. There we go. I think we're close. Each other. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, checking it out. We're not. Okay, so we're starting to figure out that there's way more work to filing and getting these pieces to fit together properly. Aaron, can you explain this for us just so everyone can easily understand? It's just we're having a bit of a fitment issue. We're trying to get these screw holes to line up. Mm -hmm. But of course, once we get one side in, then everything's yeah, it's cockeyed, kind of yeah. It's not a big deal. We just, we're going to have to take some time here. So we got to file down this inside. have to file out all these insides. Exactly. So and they'll fit together tighter. See? So yeah, this ridge needs to be flush. It, yes. Yeah, so we got a little bit of grinding to do we here. We can use this to square it up. Morris! Hello, my son. Well, now you're in, so what do you need? Come on I in. I just wanted to talk with you guys. Come on in. Hey, camera guy. What's up? Boom. Did you know? Yes. And it's almost nightfall. Night. And then when it's night, yeah. we're gonna set up the Christmas tree. We're gonna do Christmas tree tonight. Yeah. That sounds good. I like that idea. But it's not Christmas yet. No, it's a little while away. There we go. Oh, you're wearing your RC Sparks shirt today. Sweet. Yeah. Good timing, dude. Rocking everybody around today. I love it. There you go. Oh, there you go. I'm going to put our stand, you know. No, 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 no. Hey, you know what? You're getting a great vantage point. Nothing wrong with that. I think you should sit in here, buddy. How heavy is it, Rook? It's pretty heavy. Yeah? 35? I guess it's all of, yeah. 30? Okay. What do you think? <laughs> Sweet. Mom, what do you think? Should we have him in the tank? I thought, oh my gosh, where'd he go? <laughs> hey, looking good, buddy. Finally learning how to drive the tank. Okay, that corner's popped. Awesome. That corner's popped. Fits in there popped. good, eh? Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Hey, can I have a thumbs up, boy? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> look at the, Look at the box beside it. <laughs> what do you think? We're going to make it into a monster mud truck, but we don't have any mud. It's awfully snowy out right now, isn't it? Maybe it 
get going in some snow too. Yeah, we're gonna make this one of our winter projects. Is there a 12 millimeter? Yeah, that looks either 12 or 13. The common size on this tank seems to have been a 13 already. Should be a 10. Wires work. No way! It's either a socket set vice or a wrench. No, no vice grips. Wires work. Crazy people. Pliers work just fine. Yeah. Hey, there we go with the lock tight. All you need is pliers, bud. <laughs> Some pliers? Pliers. Okay, outside studs are coming on. These are the same kind of uh, ones that we saw on the idler and slave sprockets. Yes, Rook? Yes. Almost the same. They're very sharp and pointy. Yes, I noticed you gotta that. You got to watch your finger on the end. <laughs> very much like a, a tank. Looks like I frigged up on the paint on one side there. I don't know how I missed okay, that, that, hey? Uh, is inside the hole. I know. I demand perfection. And <laughs> to be fair, once we're done, yeah. you're going to have to uh, detail and repaint. All of this. Oh, yeah. A lot of people would ask me why would I would paint both sides. But I just, if I was going to do the inside with an interior kit eventually, and that, if there's enough room, I'd like to have it painted instead of the raw metal. Protects the metal from corrosion. Well, well, exactly well said okay flip it over nice here we go superstructure hey doesn't the gun go on the front holy nice well there's a hatch as well right that's where the gun comes out the tiger p elephant coming together yeah is that insane or what that looks awesome yeah it's enormous guys wow um the camera doesn't do it justice, guys. You can see it on screen, but yeah, thanks, Aaron. That's better. Like, this thing is enormous. It's huge. Here, let's move it over. This was the perfect project for 10 years on YouTube. This is stunning. What do you think? Close to the edge. Here, sit down there. How tall are you? Six feet. Six foot tall, yeah. I could almost sit inside it. <laughs> Joe, back up. Steve, back. There we go. <laughs> Let's just cut it looks off. like you're in there, bro. <laughs> Too funny, man. What an enormous tank. Thank you. Yeah, these are the two pieces of armor that put fingers. it together earlier. <laughs> Covers the machine gun area. But I'm just wondering, what are the fasteners on the other side? Plus, we're going to have the machine gun come through the machine gun ball. Yeah. Plus, we also have another armor plate to put on the front here with a bunch more of these uh, spikes. Yep. Yeah, Truly incredible.